We have created our floor plan and now it's time to add some doors and windows. From the products tab we go to the category drop down menu architectural elements subcategory doors. Click the search button and you will see a selection of doors appear at the bottom both interior and exterior. Click on one you might want to try and to the right you will see a little bit larger image appear of it. Now you just take your mouse and drag and drop it onto the wall you would like to add it to. You will feel it snap to the wall all by itself. You can click on it and now move it to a different location. This time we'll drag and drop one onto the wall at the left which has a vertical orientation to it. The door will still snap itself to the wall. After you've added it to the wall, once again you can click on it and drag it to a new position. You can even drag it onto another wall. Drag another door onto the wall. This time, after we click on it, you'll notice some colored icons appear. The yellow button is to make a copy of that door. If we need to swing it around, use the green rotate button. It will stay snapped to the wall. Back to the products tab, change the subcategory from doors to windows, click search, and now let's try a window. It behaves just like the doors. Once you drag and drop it towards the wall, it will snap itself to the wall. Click on the window and you will notice at the bottom in the object properties, the sizes and modifiers tab, this is where we can change the size of the object. Type in a new dimension, click on the green apply button, and this window is instantly changed.